It's day two of the Santa Maria Elks Rodeo. The annual event has become one of the top rodeos in the state, thanks in large part to its longtime association with its livestock and entertainment provider. News Channel's Dave Alley is live in the event center with more on an individual that's being honored by the Elks this weekend. Hello, Dave. Hi, uh, Patricia and Scott. For more than 50 years, more than 50 years plus, the name Rosser has been synonymous here at the Santa Maria Elks Rodeo, first with Cotton Rosser, who passed away two years ago, and also with his son, Reno Rosser. Together with their Marysville-based business, they have helped develop this rodeo into one of the best anywhere. And this year, the Elks are showing their appreciation. Reno Rosser is back at the Elks Rodeo, a place where he feels right at home. Santa Maria is more than just a rodeo to us. Uh, they're part of our family. Since his family, the Rossers, and their company, Flying New Rodeo, have been a vital part of this rodeo for over 60 years. We not only provide the livestock, but we also help with the direction of the rodeo. We secure the acts. We bring the entertainment. We try to make sure this rodeo is fast-paced, action-packed. Something his father, the late Cotton Rosser, a rodeo Hall of Famer, perfected during his legendary career. My father always said was, if you've seen one rodeo, you've seen them all, but that's not the case here at Santa Maria or any of our shows. We always like to keep it changing. Here we go. And challenging, especially here in Santa Maria. This week you'll see some of the top contestants throughout the United States. So when we bring livestock to this rodeo, we, we have to bring the best. Uh, if you brought the best and you didn't have the best, then you'd have a bunch of guys and you'd throw everybody off and the crowd would be disappointed. For the Cowboys who make their living out in the arena, either directly on or competing against the animals, they will straight up tell you just how important it is to have the best livestock possible for the rodeo. It gives the contestants a, you know, a reason to compete and then it's also good for the spectators to watch. If the bulls buck and the horses buck and the, the steers and calves are good, then it's a, it's a good watching rodeo. Which this rodeo has been doing for decades, thanks in large part to Rosser, a big reason he's being honored by the Elks Saturday night. He has helped us grow our event exponentially over the years, especially these last 10 years. And uh, we can't thank Reno enough for what he has done for us and Elks Rodeo in the Santa Maria community. Which Rosser is proud and grateful to be a part of. It means a lot to be honored here in Santa Maria. And uh, it means a lot because this rodeo meant a lot to my dad. And we love and we enjoy coming here every June. You know, this isn't a job. This is uh, it's part of our family. And the Rossers are definitely a great family themselves. Now, tonight the rodeo will continue with the second of second performance of the four-day event. Now, during the show here tonight, the Queen competition will come to a dramatic ending with the coronation of this year's winner. It's always one of the most exciting uh, and thrilling parts of the rodeo each and every year. There are four candidates uh, this year. We're going to meet all of them live on our newscast at 6 o'clock. But for right now, reporting live right here inside the event center, I'm News Channel reporter Dave Alley.